This is how to use the online form of CTU email UR form. So, you need to go to your browser. You need to share the link or by simply clicking on it. And you'll be going to the website docab.com. So now this is the actual form I created based on the standard form. So what you're going to do first is simply click the fill a copy. Then you have a login required. You can use either Google account, your Gmail account, or your Dropbox. So if you don't have both of that, you have simply to sign in using your email address. So you need to type your email address, type your password. So if it's not yet registered in the Doc Hub, you must have to sign up. <coughs> Then, type your password of your email address and click sign up. For example, and sign up. So you need to open your account and activate it. But if you have you have your existing Gmail account, I can simply use the Google. For this example, I'll use this email address. Then it will ask for the confirmation of the sharing between your doc hub and your google account then after that you can now start filling up the form as a template so i am creating a template so fill a copy then click fill a copy so now you need to agree on the use of records and signatures. This is simply complying the data privacy requirement. And click, let's do this. Now you can fill up. Advisable, it should be done in caps lock or capital letters. Then on the, on the date, you simply click and it will auto assign. The request type, that email your department your campus assign um, your contact number all those things are required so you cannot submit once there's one lacking there are 16 required fields that you need to fill up your plantilla position if you're a faculty you can simply use your current plantilla position or your designation you click your effectivity then you can sign so there are ways to sign you can if you are create you are filling up this online form through your phone you can use the link you simply select the country code Then type in your number. Then it will click, and if you click send, it will, it will send to your cell phone the link. But your cell phone needs to be connected using your data or your Wi-Fi. Or you can go directly, creating your signature using your mouse. Or, receipt fill, you can do it. You can upload an image. 
of an existing file or you can simply type but I encourage you to draw or upload okay then click your date then you need to fill up the format so normally based on the DICT email policy our email will automatically be the complete first name small letters please dot kamasura at ctu dot edu dot ph then take note that your default password is ctu then your last name so ctu kamasura so once you finalize this document i will automatically receive a notification and it would take 24 hours to process your request so normally you can now log in 24 hours after through our portal so once I click finalize it will create a document submission to our local portal so you can simply manage an audit you can see the digital signatures specific data for verification then 24 hours after your submission you can check you can open any browser I'm using Google Chrome now this is our official link for our email CTO email HTTPS make sure that it's HTTPS mail.ctu.edu.ph So if you're first time, it will create a security policy. You just simply click proceed to get in this area. So by default, you can type in your email address. .ph. Or you may not type the at ctu.edu.ph, both of which can work. And your password, the default is ctu, then your last name. So for me, it's ctu kamasura. And click sign in so once you get in you can log into your email first thing first you need to do is you need to update your password for security reasons so you're going to click your name now options sorry it's not my name it's an option then click change your password Type your current password, which is CTO, then your family name. Mine is CTO Kama Sura. Then you need to create a new password. Your new password must at least pass three requirements for password complexity. One, it should be a minimum of eight characters. Second, should can consist a capital letter, a small letter, a number, and a character. And third, you need to do not forget this password because once you forget your password because we are using an outlook there is no forget password policy what you're going to do if you forget your password you need to email me or call my office for a reset password okay so once you're done with your password done your password click save Got it, guys? So, put it the habit that once you have your email, this is very important, that once you're done working with your email, you need to click sign out. Alright, guys. Thank you. And spread the word.